All right, how you guys doing? I'm back, another 2500 video. Okay, today I want to talk about tracks. I want to talk about track mixing and what the difference is between the mixer, which is basically a pad mixer, versus a track mixer. And this is a JJ thing. JJ has made it uh, simple and a lot of fun to set this thing up as a track mixer so that you can take a whole track no matter how many drums or samples are triggering on it and treat it as a track pan the whole thing and adjust the volume on the whole thing and put effects on the whole thing so now you're not limited to um, you know putting effects on each individual pad anymore you can now affect a whole track with just one effect and this has been here for a while but but I've just recently started getting into it so basically so when you create a program this one's called drums it's going to default to a certain output okay and it's right here it's a stereo out meaning that this program called drums is going to default all the pads are going to default to your stereo out which is this and that's fine so it's usually where we want it to be but in this case we need to reroute it over to what's called a sequence track mixer so that we can then approach each track and have the full level panning output and effects for each track which is combined of 64 drum pads and samples via the program okay so how you do that is with the outs okay there's an extra out so it's usually just stereo one two three four five six seven eight but if you go to the left you get track now you see that when you go to track the effects disappears it goes from off which you can turn on and have effects so if I go back here and turn it off it just disappears the reason being when you're in track mode you're not able to put an effect on an individual pad anymore which is what you did before in the regular mixer is that here you could go to effect send and you could put a, a, a thing on here a uh, effects on here one or two okay um, but since this is here's our track that we changed that's now null and void you can't do it anymore right it just won't do anything because now it's assigned to a track which you can see right there okay so you can change the status from stereo out to track in the regular mixer but you have to do it one by one okay, I'm going to put the back to stereo um, so if you go into pad number seven and you go to the out tab then you get into the parameters of the output of drums okay um, so on this program you can change this is where you change it from stereo to track now instead of having to change each uh, pad which is 64 of them to and just it takes a while you can hold down the shift button which is over here little shifter guy and when you hold that down, you get this all option here. So just hit your all and watch what happens. So it selects everything now, okay? So now everything's selected and you can change everything all at once, which is cool. And you can do that for all of these rows. You can change everything at once by going to your shift all, okay? So now what we've told it to do is this program drums, instead of being assigned to the out one and two, and having the effects be on each individual pad we've now made it go to the track mixer and this arrow is not pointing to track two because I'll show you it's just pointing to the um so you could be pointing to anything it's just pointing to the fact that this on track mode now equals this this is now telling this guy to jump over to the sequence track mixer and then from there you assign your out Okay, now we're going to the stereo again. Right, still going to the stereo. But the difference is now you can affect the level for each track, the pan for each track, output, and the effects. Okay, so let's go back here. I'm going to show you the difference. You want to go to the track with the program you want to change. Okay, 
So this is already in track mode, and I'm going to show you the difference. What happens is the levels are going to be different, the panning is going to be different, and there's going to be effects on two of the tracks versus when I'm in stereo mode for this particular scenario. If I'm in stereo mode, it sounds dry. Okay, so you got that delay. Effects one is a uh, delay, effects two is um, some flanger on the bass. So that's kind of the deal, okay? So now the next step of this, which is cool, is if, if this is hard to work in because you have to scroll a lot, um, there's the, he made another thing, a, a, a dedicated track mixer page, which is mode uh, pad four, which is unmarked. So this, this guy is unmarked. So now if you push that with the, with the mode button, you get this, this track mixer, which is red. So you get the same data on it Right, you get your effects on and off, you get your send level, you get your output, you can change the output guy if you want to go to another output. You can change your panning, you can change your level, and the MIDI on and off is just an on and off for the MIDI. Okay, it's not into MIDI channels or anything, and the track is just so if you want to go up to the next level of tracks, the next bunch of 16, you hit that and then that, and so on up to 64. This is a 64 track scenario, okay? So this is pad number four. Um, pad number seven gets you in the out um, tab, gets you into how you change it, the output into here, and then you can, you don't even have to use the, the other track mix that we were just at. You can use this just by scrolling up and down, you know, and you can adjust everything there as well. Sequence Track Mixer. Very, very cool. All right.